Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into uh, any type terminology. I'm just going into how relations and types work. So basically types are, um, are objects, things. So a company would be a type, a project would be a type and so on and so forth. Relations, uh, relations are similar to something like um, properties inside of every other app, but there is a slight difference. Let's jump into my company page for my uh, clothing brand, which I co-founded. I will open up the relations to show you here. I've added a few. So this is the founders I've added here. I can add a new one, which I've created myself, which is contact person. Uh, and I could use myself as the contact person for this. I have uh, a few random objects inside of here because this is my YouTube test space. I actually don't use this space. I only use it when I make YouTube videos. But uh, the contact person would be myself. I could add several different relations. I could relate this to different objects. So if I wanted to, I could relate this to a project or I could relate a project back to this. So let's say I wanted to create a video about this. I could jump into my social media video ideas. I could create a new object. I would probably uh, create a video about suits. So let's say how to style a suit. I could add how to style a suit. I will not add the different relations in the uh, set here, but I could jump into this how to style a suit social media idea, which is the object type. So this is a social media idea and that's why it has that object type. I could press the relations here, create a new one and I could add a relation called para. I think I have one. Uh, I actually have one and I could link this back to one of my para tags or one of my para pages or I could um, add the project. Um, so this is called projects. I could link this back to Sekamora, which is my clothing brand because it is a project within my clothing brand and we can jump back into my um, jump back into my um, graph it is called a graph and we can see how everything is related inside of here so how to style a suit is related back to the clothing brand which is again related back to me if we jump into how to style a suit i could add an assignee to this uh, that's actually something inside of um, inside of the any type uh, library already so you will not have to create this as you can see every time i have an assignee only human objects shows up so I could add myself to show you how you can do that that is actually quite simple let's create something called test this is a test relation uh, I will add a select the relation type as um, as an object because that this is an object so once again i will show you the relation type here is an object and one more thing you will have to do is to limit the object type so i could press add object type and i could write human now it will only show me the human object type inside of that relation so that is another thing you can do inside of any type and the more time you spend learning this app the more powerful it becomes now let's jump back into my graph and as you can see how to style a suit is linked back to me because i am assigned to it contact i am still a contact person for sekamora and the more i use this the more you can see that things get related together and if you actually pay attention to this and do a good job at linking different things together you will have a beautiful graph as well as 
easily being able to find different things inside of here. You could link your different tasks back together, uh, uh, back to an object. So you could link your tasks to a project. There are endless possibilities and I have a few things I have done inside of my AnyType. If you want to see what I use relations for, uh, please let me know and I will make a video on how I use relations and what I relate together so you can get some inspirations. If you want that, comment down below. I just wanted to do a simple video to help you understand how relations actually work inside of any type. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Any questions, leave them down below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.